Okay, guys, time to do a couple things. Final things before battling the Elite Four. First of all, I'm gonna go back into Victory Road. You might be wondering why I'm doing this, but remember the extra room that I was talking about, like the optional room we can go to, which I never went into. I'm gonna be going in there now. So first of all, I'm gonna go and spray a Max Repel because it's kind of the obvious thing to do at this point. Uh, anyways, let's see. Uh, a little bit of a shortcut I'm taking here just to uh, get out of here. Hopefully I don't run into too many wild Pokemon. It'll be kind of annoying. Um, I'll actually just fall down over here, I guess. Anyways. It will be kind of annoying to get back, but uh, oh well. Ah, man, I actually made a mistake. Never mind, though. Oh wow, so many wild Pokemon, that's really annoying actually. Um, what's my highest level Pokemon? Actually, even if I sent that in, it wouldn't really help too much. I'll just keep Pipsy up front. And yeah, so where I'm trying to go is... Uh, wrong way actually, never mind, this isn't the right place. I believe... Yes, this is it, okay, good. Um, over here, if you guys remember, way over here, this optional ladder, which, uh, you know, we saw. But I said, uh, it would kind of mess it up because I had to do the strength puzzle again. I will, I said I will do it later. So yeah, here we are. This is the room. And this guy is another trainer. I'm going to actually pause in this. Yeah. I got to thank that guy because of him, my Pikachu is all 44 now. That's awesome. Anyways. The thing you wanna do, first of all, I'll grab this. Um, wow. Uh, I'll toss all these because I have a bunch of uh, another type of Pokeball. Ultra Balls. Guard Spec, I'm gonna toss that right away. Uh, cause that's like one of the most useless items ever. I hate, uh, X items and things like that. I know they can help, but I don't like using them. Anyways, over here. What the heck is this? This looks like some demented whatever. Now, actually, in Fire Emblem Green, this Pokemon won't be here. Instead, there'll be a hidden item. So, just a heads up. This right here, my my viewers, is a legendary Pokemon, and I recommend saving before ever, every time, save before fighting these things, which is something I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, I saved, and it is time to take on. Moltres. Moltres is one of the three legendary bird Pokemon of Kanto. It is the fire flying type of the trio. The other two are found in different locations across Kanto. Moltres is... All three of the birds first of all come in level 50. And uh, yeah, we'll be chasing the other two after we catch Moltres. Moltres has the honor of being the first one we're going to catch. Now, catching legendaries in this game is a lot different from the other games, and there's so many misconceptions going around, and not everyone actually knows exactly how it works. Now, first of all, with legendaries in this game, it's really nice to have a status on them. The way it works is, basically, um, a lot of people have been like noticing that whenever you, let's say, uh, hit, I guess, uh, or sorry, oh, I got lucky there, but whenever you throw a Pokeball at it, it even if it has status or something, and it's at low HP, sometimes it misses and things like that happen. Now, the reason for that is because the game recognizes that you won't be able to catch it. And remember, uh, Moltres has a catch rate of 3, like most legendaries out there. So the odds of catching it are really low. So, you can, like, it only, the Pokeball only hit if there's a higher chance of catching it. Now, hopefully this critical, uh, cr quick attack doesn't get a critical. Yes, it doesn't. Good. And Peck. Okay, that's nice. Now, I can't weaken it anymore. I I want to send in Venusaur, actually, but... Yeah, I bought a bunch of Ultra Balls, by the way. 70 of them. Not just for Moltres, for the other two as well, but... We'll see how I do against this. Now, see, I missed right there. That's because I wouldn't have caught it otherwise. Um, 
because well you know it is luck i mean a three catch rate is extremely low it's hard these type of legendaries are hard to catch Th a catch rate of three that's not yeah see a hit right there and i caught it so that was actually a lot easier than i wanted it to be because i wanted to show that it is hard to catch it but the way it works i'm trying to say is um is basically uh it'll only hit if the game knows you're gonna catch it that's the way it works with legendaries kind of to say how special they are which is really interesting i do like that but anyways moltres was caught moltres the flame pokemon i guess a legendary bird pokemon as it flaps its flaming wings even the night sky will turn red that is moltres we got ourselves our first ever legendary and then it will disappear because we caught it. Now I'm actually going to use an escape rope. I think first time I'm going to use one. Uh, if I can find where it is. Uh, there it is. I only have one, but yeah, that's because I tossed out most of the other ones. Um, yeah, goodbye. I'm going to go in and heal. And thankfully I didn't have to use many poke ultra balls. That's actually, um, honestly, that was try number two. Because the first time I tried to catch Moltres, I didn't understand why I kept on missing it. Now, what I thought was that if you had a status on it and it was at low HP then it will hit and then things like that but I actually, actually that's a, miscon a misconception about most people think you actually have to uh, it it will miss uh, unless you're really lucky and you catch it in the first pokeball or ultra ball you can catch it in pokeballs and stuff I mean some people say you need to have a strong pokeball but you don't anyways um I guess I'll kinda show off the stats from ultras you can't really see too much in this kinda game but I'll show it anyways uh huh Gotta make, make sure you have your box on the red one because then it, w it won't actually go to it and that'll be really bad. Um, deposit. What the? Uh, deposit Pokemon. I'll just deposit say Venusaur for now. Withdraw my. Oh, Moltres? Ah, oh, yeah. Level 50. You could use these Pokemon for the Elite Four if you want any of the three legendary birds. Uh, they, are, they come at level 50, so think about it. It is. They're really high levels. And it could be good. Now look at those stats. It's actually really good. Um, really good special and speed stat. Now, its moveset's horrible because it's only Peck and Fire Spin. But if you still had some of those TMs like the Fire Blast TM and uh, things like that, you could actually, you know, use it to, I guess, its full ability. And it's a, it's a good Pokemon. Definitely is a good Pokemon. And we're going to be catching the other two. So yeah. Uh, since I caught Moltres so quickly, which I didn't expect... I'll actually go to where uh, the second one is. So yeah, I'm gonna go fly over there. Actually, the second one. Uh, we'll be tackling Zapdos next. Zapdos is an interesting one of the three, I guess I can say. Um, what the? There it is. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go and fly over. By the way, you can fly back to the you know po Indigo League, so don't worry. Um, I'm actually gonna fly. Oh yeah, I can't uh, quite. Fly to that Pokemon Center. Oh well, anyways, I'll fly to the Cerulean then, and I'll be right back. I want to go to the entrance of the Rock okay, Tunnel. Okay, I'm back, and we are over here. So we're in the entrance of the Rock Tunnel now. Where we where we have to go actually is go over here. Now, um, these two, the next two I'm about to catch, you could have caught them right when you got uh, Surf back in Future City. So you could have got them a while back, actually. Um, but Moltres, yeah, you know, it's in a Victory Road, so you couldn't have, but. Uh, these next two you could have, so yeah. Because, uh, you know, all you need is really surf to get them, and these are in earlier areas as well, so yeah. Anyways, make your way down, surf all the way. Hopefully, I don't run into any wild Pokemon, and yes, no, I don't. There's actually a trainer over here. I'll pause until I actually beat uh, him or her. Or actually, can I just skip? Nah, no, that was battling quickly. Blah, 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 blah. Now, sadly, I got more damage here than I wanted, so I might. Yeah, I'll just, I only have one hyper potion, so I'll waste that max potion. I want to keep that hyper potion. Um, it's kind of weird what I'm doing here, but yeah, I'm doing it for a reason. Anyways, uh, continuing on. This is the power plant. So this uh, place is kind of unique, I guess uh, you can say. Uh, this it's a little harder to get to this one because it's actually like a proper kind of dungeon I guess you could say and the only purpose of this place is to house the mighty Zapdos and uh, wow Carbos awesome uh, let's use some random Pikachu that's nice uh, speed for Pikachu is always good 
next up over here um there's actually a couple of good tms here if i'm correct there should be and like uh stuff like that anyway some of the pokeball here pokeballs here will actually be uh voltorbs or i believe electros or something um instead of actual pokeballs so yeah um just a heads up i'm gonna run away because i don't want to waste my time but just a little heads up to you guys And team 33, I don't know what that even could be, but let's see. Oh, Reflect. That's actually not too bad of a move, but not for me. My team is okay right now. And that's another Voltorb. You can tell just because of the whole bzzz, uh sound, I guess. Not sound, but like the text that comes. Actually, that isn't there in uh, Fire and Leaf Green. It just, uh, you know, the wild Pokemon battle thing just comes. That's it. And this, another item. Another one of those Voltorbs, wow. I believe in Final Leaf Green there weren't as many of these things. Yeah, there definitely weren't. Yeah, there definitely weren't. Anyways, um, over here, what's over here? And this is, I think I, this, yeah, this should be Thunder. That's actually a really powerful move. I don't want to... I don't want my picture to know that though, it already tried to learn it before and I just uh, said no. Although, pr no, not Prime, I don't know why I would even teach Prime like that. Uh, Snow likes to learn, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Psychic, uh, I don't really use Rest either, so I'll actually just get rid of Rest because um, I can just use Hyper Potions instead, really, so I'm just gonna, yeah, get rid of Rest. Um, although normally I nor I wouldn't, but we're so we're at so close to the end of the game. I honestly don't care. All the power I can get is good enough. Um, and I think that's this is probably gonna be another Voltorb or yeah, it's another Voltorb. Uh, actually, I actually thought that might have been another item I'm thinking of, but nope, it isn't. Just continue on. We're almost done actually with this dungeon. It's really short, honestly. No trainers either, so you know that's kind of a upside of this, I guess. And, uh, ah, yeah, here there has to, I know there's, uh, HP, oh, actually, that, I think in Fire and Leaf Green, that was, a that was actually a Voltor, but, wow, anyways, um, I think there's a, yeah, there's an item over there, too, let's go, oh, what the, I think this is a Voltor, yeah, this is the Voltor, or not, it's a rare candy, I'm, I'm just calling it wrong, Although it is good that I came here to get the rare candy though, because now I think I have a total of... Uh, actually, let me just check. I was in the menu anyways. I have uh, nine. Whoa, that's actually a lot uh, of rare candy, so that's pretty good. A few items to, uh, to get over there. Anyways, right over here, this is actually... Um, there we go. And that's another bolt of course. Actually, that one was unique. It was actually an Electro. That's... I gotta give some credit to that. Uh, but not much. Not much. Anyways, now we're just going in like a zigzag pattern. But here it is. Here is the next legendary bird. So... Yeah. I will see you guys next time when you try to decide to catch it. But I do recommend saving. So yeah.